And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Today we're talking about the Guinness World Records, the board game. Now, I always have been fascinated by the Guinness Book of World Records. I've never understood why people needed to grow their fingernails to 13 feet long or so on. But there are some records that are interesting. I always like records of collections. Uh, I suppose we would have the record for the most video reviews of board games. <laughs> Because that's my that was always my dream as a kid. But anyhow, um, this game is made by Dice Capays, which means, of course, that there are dice involved in it. It's a, there's a heavy dose of luck. And that, well, the, by Haywire Group, anyway, the makers of Dice Capades. Let's take a look at it and see. There's a lot that comes with this game. We have the game board, we have game pieces, we have decks of cards, we have world guineas record chips over here, we have a certificate, a marker, a stack of cards, uh, there are uh, dominoes that come with the game, there are marbles, there are chips, there's a rope, there's plenty of things that come with the game. But the gameplay itself is very simple. On your turn, you simply are going to roll the die and move that many spaces clockwise. So if I'm purple, I'd move four. And whatever space you land on, that's what you do. Now, the different spaces will do different things. As you can see, we'll down here, there's a roll again space. That's pretty obvious. Well, you roll again. Then there's who am I? There's trivia challenge, house record challenge. And then if you land on the corner itself, there is the Guinea's World Records. All right, trivia challenges are the simplest ones. Someone else will pull a card and they're going to read you the question on that card and then they'll read you the three different answers and then you have to pick which of those answers is correct. Now sometimes one of the answers is silly so it's kind of a between two answers but maybe not and even then you still have a one-third chance. And here for example it has a fun fact. Oh this side has no fun fact. But like for example here we have the Oscar goes to the man who holds the record for the oldest best actor winner and who is that? Henry Fonda, Spencer Tracy, George Burns, and of course the answer is Henry Fonda. And <laughs> again, some of the one one of the answers may be absolutely silly, but you read that to the person, they pick it. If they get it correct, they're going to get chips, and each space in the board shows you how many chips. So that was a trivia challenge, and those are that will give you one chip. Uh, who am I? Will show you a picture of somebody. And you will look at these people and then it will ask you, uh, someone will ask you a question about them. Like, what's the world record? Longest hug, closest embrace, or most awkward moment? Again, one or more of the answers may be silly. So sometimes you can logically determine what the answer is, but then it tells you more about it. And so it's kind of an educational game because you learn about these records. And seriously, who wants to hug for 24 hours? But uh, so that those, those give you two chips. They're better than that. Then we have the house record challenge. Now there's only a few of these cards and each of these cards has you do a different challenge. For example, this card takes you, makes you take the deck of playing cards that comes with the game. And as far as I can tell, is only used for this purpose. You turn over 10 of those, you have 30 seconds with a time ring included in the game and you have to memorize them. Someone else after 30 seconds, you turn them over and you have to guess at least seven of them. Another one will be tying knots in a rope and then someone else has to untie them. Or another one is taking all the dominoes that come with the game. And I think there's 24 of them and standing them on end. Another one is dropping chips and making them all touch each other. And each time you accomplish this record, if you accomplish the record the certain amount they want you to, you'll get three points. And then you can also put your name on the board here and with your initials. And so you can keep record from game to game. I was like, aha, uh, there's no TV here because, well, that's none of your business. All right. So the last thing the last spaces are the Guinness World Records. And these are actual world records that people hold and they want you to try them. Like this is the fastest mile hopping and, and instead of you doing what the person did and won the world record because that's impossible, you have to just do something like this. Hop on one leg for 30 seconds and if you do it for successfully then you will get the Guinness World Records gift certificate. Uh, or not, not sorry, gift certificate, just certificate. This certificate is being passed around from player to player 
And the reason you want the certificate is because this is how you win. To win, you need to get a certain number of these chips, and like let's say a four player game, you need 20 of them, and the certificate, the first person to do that is the winner. So you can go around and get piles of chips and that's all well and good, but you better land on one of these bases at some point and successfully accomplish a challenge. Many of these challenges are physical, uh, but some of them are mental or verbal or what have you. And that is how you play this game. It's heavy. Yes, I know it's heavy. It is a heavy-ish game. Although the gameplay itself isn't heavy, it's your typical roll and move, uh, but with different things. Uh, let's see what the kids think and then I'll give you my opinions on it. What did you think of the game, Holly? I like it because the the pictures are, some of the pictures are like gross, but some of the pictures are like fascinating, like the giantest big bur um, burger. Oh yeah, would you eat that hamburger? No, not by <laughs> okay. myself. What part of the game did you like the best? Um... The things, um, like when um, you get the... Like the rope and the dominoes yeah. and things? Okay. What do you think, Amy? Get off, weirdo. Uh, I didn't like it that much because mostly... I didn't like the tr truth and trivia questions because they just bored me out and I didn't really like them. But I did like the ac action cards that we did. The tying rope, my dad is not a good tire. Okay, okay, that's not the point of, of okay. Melody, moving on. Blue shorty, ow! Ow! <laughs> All right, next. Melody, what do you think? Um, it was a really fun game at first, but after a while it got kind of boring because you're just doing the same things over and over again. All right, well, you know what? All three of them said exactly kind of what I thought. The The trivia for the game is interesting that for a little while. Those are fun. The, the doing the, the things, the cards, the dominoes, the moving marbles with your fingers, whatever, that was fun, and I wish they'd put a lot more of that in the game, like quadruple the size of those cards and had more of those. Uh, if you're playing the game, going to 20 chips is probably a little long. I'd say 10 or 15 chips. Otherwise, the game seems to drag out forever and ever, and it has that whole trivia pursuit thing. It doesn't matter if you're doing great. You need to land on the spot that gives you the certificate or you cannot win. So it's an activity. I almost would keep this and use the trivia cards and stuff outside the game and then play the game and just do the activities. But, you know, what you do is up to you. So that is the World Book of Records. Is it the world's greatest game? Uh, definitely not. But it will, it, well, it's educational. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find the latest board game news at Dicetowernews.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Fun Again Games, the world's best game source. Fun Again Games has over 5,000 games available. Check them out at Funagain.com.